Hello, this is Galit Goldfarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how much salt is really good for you. In the world of nutrition, a battle is constantly fought about whether certain products are right for us, what quantities of them are healthy, and where we should place our boundaries. This is especially true for salt. There are those who state that salt is entirely unhealthy, and there are also those who think that it is healthy in specified amounts. So let's go more in depth on this topic and finally find a solution to the question, how much salt is really healthy for us? First, let's mention the importance of salt. Salt is a natural compound and it consists of 60% chloride and 40% sodium and both of these elements have a vital role on our health. Sodium is an essential electrolyte and helps maintain water balance and in and around our cells and sodium is also required for healthy nerve and muscle function and it helps stabilize blood, blood pressure levels. Hyponatremia is a condition where we have insufficient sodium in the blood generally defined as a sodium concentration below 135 millimoles per liter. Hyponatremia may be due to diuretic use, to diarrhea, or even drinking too much water. And it is also due to heart failure, liver disease, renal disease, and inappropriate ADH secretion, which I will make another video about. Hyponatremia causes internal water levels to rise, which produces swelling of the cells. And this may cause many, many health problems from mild to life-threatening. Chloride is the other essential electrolyte found in salt, and it is found in the blood, helps balance the amount of fluids inside and outside our cells, and it also supports proper blood volume, blood pressure, and the right pH of our body fluids. So from this we understand that salt is definitely necessary for our survival. But we also know for a fact that higher salt intake is linked to specific health problems including high blood pressure, heart disease, and many more. So the real question regarding salt is not whether it's necessary for our health, but rather how much is needed to support our health. So how much salt is recommended? Well. The most recent dietary guidelines suggest that you can consume up to 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. Now that's sodium and not salt. And uh, salt has 40% sodium as I pre previously mentioned. And this is equal to just under a teaspoon or six grams of salt per day. Now other guidelines recommend for the elderly or people suffering from high blood pressure or heart disease that they should consume less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. But according to the American Heart Association, the body only really needs 500 milligrams of sodium per day, which is under a quarter of a teaspoon from all of our foods combined. Everything above this is not really necessary and our bodies have a hard time dealing with higher amounts of salt. The body is a calibrated machine and it regulates the concentrations of salt. If you add more than it actually needs, then it will inevitably cause imbalance and lead to disease. However, there is a concern that we are each affected differently by the same amounts of salt. What may be a lot for someone might not be so for someone else. And what's more, some people see no effects from higher amounts of salt in their diet, while others experience problems like bloating or even higher blood pressure. And another problem is that lower amounts of salt can have adverse consequences. A consistent low salt diet can lead to higher uh, levels of cholesterol and triglycerides in the body, increasing your chances of developing heart disease. So what can we summarize from this? Different people have different salt thresholds and a certain lower amount of salt is unhealthy just as a certain higher amount is. And as it can prove to be quite complicated to find out what the precise amount of salt that is right for you, it's best to stick to the recommended guidelines of sodium between 1,500 and 2,300 milligrams per day. However, if you are regularly consuming fast and processed foods, it is vital to check your levels of sodium in these foods on the label, as they will quickly add up. When reviewing the label, many food manufacturers mention sodium according to the portion sizes, which is often 
crossed by far. So if you consume two or three portions of the food, as is done often with breakfast cereals, then sodium should be calculated according to what you ate to find out how much really you've taken in. Now regularly eating out will also bring you out of salt balance. So I recommend eating out no more than three to four times a week if you must, depending on of course which restaurants you choose. Now the really fast food places should be avoided or visited less than once a fortnight. Now the necessary amount of 500 milligrams of salt per day can easily be reached just by consuming vegetables or fruits. For example, one cup of cooked Swiss chard contains no more than 300 milligrams of sodium. And one cup of boiled spinach has 125 milligrams of, so of sodium, just as sweet potatoes do. And one artichoke uh, contains 75 milligrams of sodium and every medium-sized red or gold beet contains about 65 milligrams of sodium. And every stalk of celery, there is 50 milligrams of sodium as there is also in any large carrot that you eat. And in fruits, the, most, uh, the fruits with the most sodium include guyava and passion fruit, which contain about 50 milligrams of sodium. So if you are consuming a plant-rich, whole food diet, there is no real need to add so salt to foods to get the rich, salty flavor we love and to get sufficient sodium in our diets. But if you do want to add salt to your foods, learn about the one I recommend in the video I made here. It's about Himalayan salt and my uh, uh, the most recommended salt that I suggest. And you may be surprised to learn that it may not be Himalayan salt. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and press the notifications bell to get updates. I upload a video about once a week and um, please visit my blog for lots of free um, information on nutrition and health. Thank you very much for joining.